Yeah, yeah, I got you. I see that. Uh, we'll show up, All right. Um, he said for he said set thy heart, set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in times of trouble. See, constantly endure what your affliction is going to come upon you. You may lose your job. You may break your car. Your body may even get sick with a firm. But it said, constantly endure and make no haste in time of trouble, meaning what? Don't be so quick to run when you start catching hell. This is part of it. See what I'm saying? We have to tell you this because a lot of people come into the truth with the wrong mind frame thinking that the Lord is going to just all of a sudden bless them with all kinds of stuff. No, no real blessing is the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of this right. word. That's right, bro. That's right. It's a real blessing. Not a brand new car. I mean, the Lord may give you bones here and there, but the Lord is not going to just throw you a million dollars in your lap, a brand new car. All the, no, you're going to catch hell. Because when you're in the churches, you don't really catch hell like this, man. You don't catch hell until you truly start serving the hell about shooting out a shot. In the church, Satan blessing. That's why everything seems to be good. Or even when you catch hell, you're like, oh, it ain't that, you know. It, it's a light thing for you. No, when you're in this truth, the Lord is going to kick your ass to see if you're really worthy of, of, of calling on his name and serving him, man. See if you really are a, a soldier for his army. That's why I tell you, Timothy, endure hardness as a good soldier for your Howard shot. Because at war, you're going to get bumps and bruises and scrapes. You may even get shot in war. But you got to endure all this affliction. Go ahead. You got something? Go ahead. Yeah, okay. yeah, kind of, kind of, kind of. Go ahead. I got some more of that. You want to bring, bring some more of that? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is uh, verse, verse 2. He said, he said, make hate in time of trouble. Verse 3. Cleave unto him and depart not away. See, he said, cleave. When you cleave on the sun, that's just like, uh, that's just like as a kid. When you play on your mom or dad and you grab on your leg and you drag you or he drag you, that you cleave it on to the Lord, man. Cleave on to his word like your life depending on it because actually you depend on it. You see what I'm saying? Right? He said, cleave, cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. See? That thou mayest be increased at thy last end. What is the last end? When the Lord come and destroy us. That time. Right. What time? When all hell That's how you go get increased at the end. The Lord may give you strength and power. That's how you increase at the end. The Lord may deliver you. That's how you increase at the end. Even if you have to die for the Lord, it said that the dead in Christ, the dead in Yahushua shall rise first. That's how you can increase at the end. But you got to fight this battle. That's why I tell you, Matthew, he that endures until the end, the same shall be saved. Right. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. He said, uh, he said, whatsoever is brought upon the, she said, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. See, whatsoever brought upon thee, take cheerfully. I know it's hard to say, oh Lord, thank you for this punishment, thank you for the hell I'm catching, but you got to get yourself in the mind frame. Because did not Job tell his wife, shall we not accept the good as well as the bad? You know what I'm so when you go to go through hell, you gotta pray to your how about Shimmy Hawa Shah that he keep you and, and help help you endure through your afflictions. Right, See what I'm saying? Don't be, oh man, fuck this shit. I can't heal it. Hey, hey. I gotta go. No. The Lord is trying you through fire to purify you.
said, uh, he said, uh, he said, uh, he said, well, who said, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. See, patience means what? Suffering. When you grow from a low estate, you know, it's hard to, to deal with being on the loser's side, which actually, you're on the winner's side. Yeah. Everything you lose on this side, you're going to gain even more in the team. You know, it, it's hard from, from selling drugs and having thousands of dollars in your pocket to, to serving the Lord and having nothing. You see what I'm saying? Barely making ends meet. But see, the Lord wants you to call to him to show your faith. Because even the Lord himself became poor for the people. He took himself to a lower state. He's a king. He could have stayed in this world, world majestic cloud, but he didn't. He brought himself low to the people. Same thing, man. 